Wellness for Life is brought to you by Purim Physical Therapy, Gottenberg Chiropractic Clinic, Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership, CHI St. Joseph's Health Weight Management Center, and Natural Alternatives. Hi, I'm Dr. Gottenborg, and uh, we're coming today from Pelican Rapids. Uh, I have a clinic here, and I've been in Pelican since 1984. And um, you'll probably notice um, about this time of the year, people start to talk about uh, New Year's resolutions, and ultimately it might include losing weight or doing a detoxification. And so I'm going to spend just a couple minutes on that today. But the first thing I wanted to talk about was a question I often hear is, and I heard it this morning, someone will come in and say, uh, David, um, when I turn my head left or right, I, I hear a click or a snap, or in some instances they say it sounds like gravel in my neck. So uh, really quick here, I'm going to explain that to you. Um, and we can help you with each one of these problems. But if you hear this grinding or crepitus in the neck, uh, that usually comes from a long-standing problem. In other words, you've neglected to take care of something. And what happens, um, um, layers of muscle or connective tissue uh, attract uh, minerals. And as these tissues slide by each other, it creates a grinding or crepitus. The snapping is when you have a tight or taut muscle or tendon, the vertebrae have prominences, protuberances. And as that tendon or muscle slides by a prominence, you'll hear a snapping sound. Uh, the third thing is when you hear a clunk, like something just gives away. And this is more spinal. Um, I think it's a more important finding and one that I really take seriously as far as our examination. But any one of these three problems, if you have them and you're bothered by them, there's a solution and chiropractic offers that solution. The second subject today is one that I alluded to earlier and that is detoxification. And this is one that I probably have a stronger opinion about. Uh, there are all types of things that you can do out there that, in a sense, act as detoxification programs because they're designed to mobilize irritants. What I think is important is really one of three things, and each of these programs are designed to not only to repair, but to regenerate, and finally to reculture or re-inoculate healthy bacteria. So how do you know if you need a detoxification program? Some people use these to precede a weight loss management program. In our clinic here, we use a couple different methods. We use a survey. One of them is symptom-based, and the other one is a plain toxicity questionnaire. The third way is we use lab testing, either through saliva or in the case of irritable bowel, um, a stool culture. In the very end, when we tailor a program, we use really one of three product, pr products. One is called ultraglycemics. Think of glycemics, meaning issues with blood sugar. This could be someone who is insulin insensitive or type 2 diabetic. The second one is called ultrainflammics, and this is designed more for the person that has for example, irritable bowel, or one of the many autoimmune disorders like fibromyalgia or rheumatoid arthritis. And the last one that we use um, is designed for people, women mainly, with hormonal imbalances. Let's say someone who is estrogen dominant. Um, and again, this program is designed to in a sense encapsulate the hormones that are in excess enclosing them with a water molecule so your body excretes them. And so um, it's a big subject uh, but we have experience working with people um, um, even in fertility. And so if you have questions about a detoxification 
and want to do it correctly or do it right, uh, then feel free to contact us at our clinic. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life. Brought to you by Purim Physical Therapy, Gothenburg Chiropractic Clinic, Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership, CHI St. Joseph's Health Weight Management Center, and Natural Alternatives.